Glow Glen here from GMT Point and Specialist Limited. If you notice here, you've got a damp course injection. It's been damp course injected because this one failed. One of them's failed. So they've done another one. But what probably the problem was, if you look here, I ground this out yesterday. See the moisture at the bottom? The sand and cement pointed over the bottom of it. So that locked the moisture into the house. So this was done yesterday and it's still wet. Yes, it's supposed to be wet under a damp course injection, but it's supposed to be released as well. This would have had the old slate damp course. It's destroying the bricks as well. But always use lime under your damp course. Never ever use cement, and if you're repointing the building, there's no need to use just sand and cement. Use sand, cement and lime, or use lime where it should be. Depending on the age of the building, if it's a more modern building, you use sand, cement and lime. A hydrated lime, where I, I'm going to use a hydraulic lime in here. With a high free lime content, so it'll let the moisture wick away. Okay, feel free to subscribe and click the notification button and share if you want. But I just ground this bottom half out while I'm waiting for the scaffolding. I've got all that chipping out to do yet. Took a few bricks out. I'm just finding it difficult to find some bricks. Them bricks are a bit big so I'm going to have to cut them down. Okay, thank you.